Welcome back to the channel. Happy afternoon. I am so excited. It is a beautiful day. And I had been working in the house a little bit and I have the front door open and a couple of the windows open and it's just so nice out. Yesterday morning, me and Max sat on the porch while I drank my coffee the chickens were in the yard and we were just hanging out on the porch enjoying the sun that was out yesterday morning and it made me realize I really wanted a sitting area on our porch. I just set one of our outdoor chairs up and thankfully there's enough room with this that the door can still open. Um, I wasn't sure because I also have the little side thing here still. We'll see if I end up needing to move that to move the chair over a little bit more. I'm not sure. Um, I also was kind of able to just clean the porch up a little bit. Um, in the weird transition from spontaneous rain to nice weather, it's kind of been in and out with projects outside and so it just was needing a little bit of straightening and I got to sweep and everything so yeah I'm just really excited that I have a chair set up now so I can just sit on the porch and enjoy it. I've wanted one because we have a back porch too. This one has more space to do something like this than the other. Our back porch is super narrow so there's not as much room but I'm really excited. So the sun is already mostly leaving our yard, but that's okay because I have my chair set up now. And maybe tomorrow morning, I will have my coffee out here. We shall see.
dry out a little bit. I realized I just kind of really watered them well earlier today and they're a little too wet to transfer super well. So I'm gonna let them not dry out, but at least not be as wet. <laughs> I finally cleared everything out of my garden bed and I watered it first before I plant those so I can plant those without having to douse them in water. Um, I have a little bit of my strawberry plant, or one of them right there, and little remnants of this one here. Supposedly strawberry plants come back each year for like three years. So we'll see. We'll see if those turn into anything. Um, these darts I bought, with everything that's been going on, just how crazy busy things have been, I didn't really feel like dedicating the time to start seeds. So I got some starters. I got snowball cauliflower. It says early snowball cauliflower. This is broccoli. And these are purple Brussels sprouts. So they're a little bit on the iffy side. Hopefully they make it okay. I'm just gonna transfer them when I can and hope that they thrive and we shall see. This was my aunt's dog, Missy's crate. And um, she passed away in October of last year. And um, my aunt was okay. very kind to hand down the crate to Max. So he knows this crate. He has slept in this crate before but not here and not in a long time. So I've got it just open with the blanket in it. We'll see what he thinks about it. I did kind of also want to touch on, I went and had my echo updated. Um, I think I told you guys it had been longer since my last one than I realized. My last one was 2016. I thought I had had one at least 2018, but nope, I was off for two years. So um, thankfully, actually the recommended time frame, unless there's something you're watching closely, like something's actually going on, um, is five years. I think it just always felt like less time in between for me. So I always just kind of thought it was really close together, but it was on time for that but I was definitely due for it and I got to talk to the cardiologist that my endo referred me to he was very nice he was great um and he said everything looked awesome um everything still looked good and normal and the only thing that we're not totally certain of is my heart rate has been running higher than is normal. Um, not super, super elevated, but just a little bit. I tend to think it's stress and he agreed it could be. Um, he didn't have something specific he thought sounded like could be causing it. He thinks sometimes that just happens. Sometimes there's no explanation. Um, it's not concerning at this point. It was just something we've been seeing. So that was another thing he was looking at. But yeah, so that went really good. Um, and I actually got to talk to a genetic counselor for the first time in my life. 
my parents, when they were pregnant with me, had a genetic counselor working with them. And that's actually how they got the prenatal diagnostic doctor that they did for when they were trying to figure out what was going on with me before we knew it was Turner's or before they knew it was Turner's. And so it was really cool now for me to get that experience of talking to a genetic counselor. It was interesting. It was helpful in some ways and kind of brought on more questions in other ways or kind of just, a, I, I'm still processing. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Um, so the things that I talked to him about, just to give you guys a quick, brief touch on what we talked about, was the risk of passing Turner's on or passing some kind of chromosomal abnormality on, whether it was Turner's or not. Um, and also, he spoke to me about the risk as a woman with Turner's for going through pregnancy. So I got to hear a couple of studies that he had found um, that he actually sent me the link to and everything. And we talked about it. I got to ask my questions. Um, it was really great. It was helpful information wise in that way. I, my first instinct was to make a video all about what we talked about, like just going in depth into it, sharing the articles, sharing my thoughts about it, sharing my feelings after talking to them and all of that. But I'm not, I'm not sure if that's the best way of doing it or if there's another way I should try to share it. If you guys like have a specific topic within that you would want me to touch on rather than going super broad. Um, I'm not sure. So let me know if you guys want me to do a whole overview of it, if that would be helpful. I know I've been talking about these ideas a lot lately. It's just something that's been on my mind. You know, it's something that I've been really getting information on. Um, not starting out seeking it, but then just my curiosity was piqued and I wanted to understand it better. I did not start it trying to figure out if we could. Um, I know I talked to you guys about my FSH level and everything and like that whole saga, but I still, I still felt like I needed more information and I'm glad I got the information. So for that reason, I would be more than willing to share. If you guys have anything specific within that that you're curious about, just if I did do a video to make sure I touched on it, leave it in the comments below so I can see and maybe I can start putting something together. I also wanna do just a general q and I have not done a Q&A video in a while and so I'm curious if there's any questions you guys have. So to have that possibility open, if you guys have any questions about anything, like any topic, it doesn't have, Turner's or not, whatever you're curious about, please leave it in the comments below and we can see about getting those answered too. So let me know your thoughts. <laughs> These are big topics. These are ones that can be really easily scary and overwhelming. Um, and so I also wanna make sure I do it justice in not sharing about it and talking about it in a light that makes it anything but reality. You know, I don't wanna make it overly scary, but I also don't want to minimize things. Yes, let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you would be interested in hearing more about. Um, and let me know if you have any questions for a Q&A down below. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little bit of a random jump around vlog. Um, I, hope, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed so you can see when the next video comes out. I have another amazing chat that I will be posting on Wednesday. 
and I just am so excited. It was another amazing chat. I've just been uh, so blessed by the chats I have with you guys. So I hope you will keep an eye out for that because that is going to be very good. I'm really excited. Hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.